Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold video. We'll get into that shortly though. Um, this one is sales from Monday through Thursday, I believe for the week. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. I know we're still at the end of December in these sales. If those of you are checking me online, I'm just behind like I always say. So either enjoy it or not. This is just the way it's going to be for now. Life's just too busy. I do want to mention a couple things. Uh, Bulbasaur you see up here is a Build-A-Bear Bulbasaur. Just a little tip. If you find a Bulbasaur Build-A-Bear, they're worth quite a bit of money. I paid a buck for mine. It had some stains on it. Knew it was worth money though, so I picked it up. My wife washed them, got them all cleaned. He looks great, um, he or she, and we should be able to get, I don't know, 70 plus maybe on that would be cool. Some of them go for like 150 if it's brand new, so... Look out for a certain Build-A-Bear. Some of them do really well. How to Train Your Dragon ones. There's a couple of those that you can get that do really well. I'm not saying every Build-A-Bear is worth money, but take a look. Some might be worth your time. If you guys have any questions, though, let me know. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. We're back with the sales update for Monday. Um, this is starting off the week. I think we have 10 or 11 sales. There's at least one more still to show you guys um, that just sold, so we'll pop that up um, here in the next clip, but we'll jump in. Uh, one thing I'm happy to get rid of, I've had this for a while, this is a Hummer um, RC body for a 10, 110 scale, I believe it is. Um, I forgot what the brand is, I don't even, I don't think it's new by it, but you'll see on the screen, I bought a bunch of RC stuff from Storage Unit Guy one time, there were three different truck bodies, uh, one was a Jeep that sold for like a hundred and something, and then one was a truck or something else, and then this is the last one, this Hummer sold for 90 shipped, I was lucky to get that. Um, it is big and bulky, but these things are light. You just got to pat them really well, put them in a box. They usually go FedEx, but 90 shipped on that. Happy to get rid of it. Look out for the RC bodies, the bigger ones, the 110 scale ones. Um, here's a Makita, sorry, high voltage charger, DC1804. I want to say I paid like 15 bucks for this. I got two of them. They're brand new. Two of them, this sold for like 48, 47 ship, something like that. Um, I paid, since I paid 15, that's not an amazing deal. We're going to make some good money. Um, but you're getting two. It's one listing pretty easy. So um, that was awesome. I got one left It's only taken about a month to sell. So um, here's some Cuisinart DLC 7 3 blades They sold for 19 ship. They've been up for a long time, but I'm happy to get rid of them Usually I sell the blades individually, but it takes forever to sell them because people don't go after them that much I decided to lot three together and they did sell eventually, but again, it took a while. So happy to get rid of that Here's a cross um it says 10 karat gold emblem. You can see it's like the California Bell. I think it's like the phone company or something like that. I don't know. But um, this one um, came from an estate sale. I think I paid like two bucks for it. Took a best offer of 30 ships. So I'm happy to get rid of that. Uh, best sale. Technically this happened yesterday, but they finally paid today. This is a Canon AE-1 um, camera. This one I think I paid 20 bucks for. Something like that. 20 or 25 sold for 100 shipped um, a lot of students use these to take photography classes and stuff so this particular camera always sells well here's a the firm cassette you can kind of see that um, this ended up selling for like 13 shipped came out of the big cassette lot so pretty good and then the media or other media stuff i think crash sold for 10 it's uh, missing a manual project car sold for eight shipped uh, need for speed shift sold for eight shipped NFL Street just got this, paid a buck. You can see the manuals all, or the artwork's all messed up, but the game's in good shape. That sold for 14 chipped. And lastly, this is a little DVD. Um, what was it called? The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing. I never heard of it. It um, is an archive collection for Warner Brothers. Um, this was a dollar or two dollars at my um, local library, and then they had a sale that was half off, so it was a buck. Picked it up and it sold within like three days for 11 ships. So not a whole lot, but again, anytime I see DVDs I've never seen before, something weird, unique, I usually have been scanning them because they're really easy to look up on eBay. Just put the little barcode in your scanner, see what the comps are, and kind of um, kind of go from there. So it's been great because I've been making some extra money on stuff I usually skip. So that's it for right now. We'll show you guys the next stuff. Hey everyone, we're back with the final sale from... Uh, Monday, so a pretty good sale. Actually, some of this happened on Tuesday, but because it's one order, I'm putting it all together. It's now Tuesday right now. Um, this is a bunch of Care Bear party decorations. You can see little like glow things here, whatever those are. There's some hats. These are all tablecloths, all brand new. Like dessert plates, two different styles, mainly this Sunshine Bear. Um, this is like a little banner, a couple things of napkins, and then the larger plates here. 
Um, so all this was at a garage sale. The lady had only new stuff. I'm guessing she either bought pallets or she somehow bought all this. There was new Halloween stuff, all different kinds of stuff. I bought some of the Halloween stuff, but I saw all this in one box. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a lot of one type of theme birthday stuff. So I asked her how much her party stuff. And the lady was actually working the event for her, so she had to get the lady who owned it. And she said, I think 10 bucks for all of it. And I'm like, okay. Lady came out. She looked at it. She's like, I was going to probably ask a little bit more, but I'll do 10 So I jumped on it for 10 bucks. I got all this. I basically made a couple of different listings. I made one bulk one that had uh, these guys in it. It had the hats, the banner, a uh, bunch of different plates from each kind, the napkins, and a couple of tablecloths. And I put that in one big lot, hoping that would attract the most people. And then I made a bunch of little smaller ones with the leftover stuff, as we have way too many plates compared to like making perfectly even lots. So um, one person came, and it's actually an uh, internet party store. They bought everything. They offered me like 76 for the big lot I had listed for 100 I counted with 80 and they took it. I messaged them and said, hey, if you want everything else at a discounted rate, but you'll buy it all, I'll make a deal. So then I, I listed four plates like this. I had two lots of these. I had two lots of the four plates of these or three three sets. And she offered like 16 each or whatever on those, plus 30 for another little lot of hat, plus 25 for the last bit of these. The total is like 190 bucks, which is an awesome deal for $10. Granted, I probably could have made more money waiting and having the right person come and buy each one. But I'm not going to turn down 100 and something dollars of profit on a $10 buy. So that's it, guys. Hey, everyone. We're back with the What Sold video for Tuesday and Wednesday. It's two days combined. Um... Total of 12 sales, I think, or something like that. I think only 11 orders, technically. Um, we'll jump right into what's sold. This is a Franklin Mint chess piece. This is one of the Greek god, god or goddesses ones. That's the Aphrodite one and a pawn. I got seven of these when I bought all the rat extermination stuff from Storage Unit Guy, and they sold for, that sold for 45 shipped on the best offer. Uh, these are some Les Mills pump DVDs. There's two different discs, disc two and three. Um, this is kind of a do as I say, not as I do. Um, Beachbody is the one that always gets you on the Vero. It's a bunch of BS for what they do. They try to claim the product is not legit. That's why they want to pull it down. Um, they do it on everybody, no matter who's you're putting up there. But at least they try to. What I do, um, I do list them because there is some money. This was one I was hoping to list as a complete set, but it turned out to be incomplete, but I already bought it. Um, I parted the discs out individually. I don't include Beachbody in my title. I just put Les Mills Pump, the disc, and the title. So you really shouldn't sell them at all. It's a big risk for your account. I haven't had a Vero strike in a long, long time. So we've been pretty good. Um, but obviously, if I get another one, then I'll have to stop doing this because I don't want to take any chances. But those sold for 30 shipped, 15 bucks each disc. Here's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, um, one and two. These sold for 33 shipped, something like that, 34 shipped for the Xbox. Super Paper Mario sold for 13 shipped for the Wii. Nintendo DS Lite sold for 40 shipped with a charger. Uh, no games or anything, just the uh, unit. Kia Sportage sold for 25 shipped. This is an electric uh, troubleshooting manual or an ETM, the 2002. That came out of the big manual lot, sold for full price, 25. Uh, here we have this big, um, these Siamese cats. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. From Van Nuys, California. I forgot what it's called. Lane and Company, I think, is what it is. This is supposed to be like a lamp, from what I was told. Um, you can see it has damage. Still sold this for 90 shipped. I forgot what I paid, 5 or 10 bucks for it at a garage sale. Just looks super cool. The eyes look crazy, but 90 shipped there. NFL Blitz sold for 12 shipped, cartridge only. Here's an Olympus um, recorder. This sold twice, the first time they never paid. It's the VN7200 that paid, sold for like 22 shipped. These are super cool if you can find them. These are um, Once Upon a Midnight Jury Collections by Jasmine Beckett something. You'll see on the screen, these ones actually had issues though. You can see her wings I or whatever got broken off. This one's got a lot of wear. You may not be able to see it because of the lighting, but inside the wing there, it's all messed up and on the back. Um, these still sold in the best offer. I plotted them together for 40 shipped. If you have ones that are in good shape, 50, 60, each is real is a realistic possibility, so um, look out for those. And lastly, this is the bolo for the this part of the clip, the Pretender DVD series. There's four seasons, and this is the actual movie that goes with it. I bought uh, four of these. Like I bought this set right here, these um, 
four for a dollar. They were 25 cents. This thrift store has all media for 25 cents. I had just found it recently, a dollar for that. I looked it up and saw that they sell really well. If you have the whole set, I paid like 12 or 13 bucks for this one to add in there. And then I sold this whole set for 160 shipped. Um, took about three weeks to sell, four weeks maybe, but still a great deal. So look out for the pretender. That's it guys. I'll show you guys if anything else sells. Everyone, final sale from yesterday, this Guitar Hero Wii. It has um, two guitars in there, so the Aerosmith version. I think the only thing it's missing is one of the battery, not battery, uh, compartments or whatever. I think where the Wii goes and everything, there's like a cap or a cover. Something like that. Maybe it is a battery compartment. I don't know. It's missing one thing, a little door on here. Um, this was from the $1,600 buy. Um, this is the video game portion. This ended up selling for like 100 and something shipped. Um, pretty good deal. I got good money for it concerning what it was, but, um, it will cost a little bit to ship and, um, we guitar hero ones don't sell as quickly usually for me like the Xbox 360 do. So that's it. We'll get this packed up. Everyone we're back with the what sold update for Thursday, 17 items sold here. Plus I think one more to show you guys later and a few hours left. So we'll see what happens. Good mix of stuff, a couple of higher dollar, um, kind of middle of the road stuff and then a lot of smalls, but the sum of the smalls um, is something we can always uh, be appreciative of because it helps keep that number up and kind of the bread and butter type stuff. So we'll start with the video games. Uh, the best item today is the um, R2-D2 Star Wars 360. Uh, it does um, work. It makes R2-D2 sounds when you um, hit the power button and stuff, open the disc tray. That sold for 90 shipped. Um, I paid a 300 bucks for a bunch of video game stuff one day from storage unit guy plus some other stuff. This was probably the highest dollar item in there, but there were a bunch of Wii and 360 games that actually sold pretty well. Um, this sold for 90 shipped. I think when I calculate it all, we'll probably end up with about $900 in sales from everything. It's just a lot of middle of the road video games and kind of lower end video games, controllers, um, books and stuff like that that'll add up to the 900. This was the highest dollar individual item, but 90 shipped. It comes. I did add an HDMI cable that only came with the power cord. So that does work, 90 shipped on that. Some video games from Mario Bros. for the Atari sold for 15 shipped. Wii Super Mario Maker. This, I paid five bucks for this at a garage sale. It sold for 20 shipped. It'll go first class. Paid up for. I just knew it would eventually sell, and it was easy money. Civilization 2 sold for like 10 to 12 shipped, somewhere in there. Burnout Revenge for 360 disc only sold for nine shipped. Bratz for GameCube sold for 12 shipped. Blitz the League sold for 10 shipped, and Midnight Club 2 Xbox sold for nine shipped. Uh, board game here, Millborn. I forgot how to pronounce it. Someone on one other YouTube video pronounced it the right way. But this sold for like 20 shipped or somewhere around there. Um, it's pretty light. It might still go first class. Uh, it took forever to sell, and I was on the higher end of the price. If you can get them cheap and they go first class, you could probably sell them pretty quick at 15 bucks, Make a little bit of money, but um, obviously I got to make sure all the pieces are there and all that. So not a great buy, but I'm happy to get rid of it. A BMW key fob. This may have been from the same Star Wars 360 um, system storage unit buy. I can't remember, but this sold for like 21 shipped. It was just a throw-in. When I'm at storage unit guy, I just throw as much stuff as I can in the bucket um, to add into what he thinks is valuable. And that other stuff I add and hope to bring a little extra money in that way. Here's some Tonka Chuck and Friends trucks. Look out for these if you can find them in bulk. These ones sold for 20 shipped. Uh, they go pad a flat rate. These are my son's old toys, so... Uh, we'll make a little bit of money, but if you, certain ones can be valuable, and if you have a ton of them, like 40 or 50 of them, you know, you can actually do pretty well. Some books, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the first American edition, sold for 27 shipped in about two days. This is a little bit lower. It's got some marks there, and you can see some discoloration on the pages. Usually I get about 35 shipped for that if I wait a while, um, but usually I'll sell the first book individually unless I have a full set set up, so... Something to look out for if you do see Sorcerer's Stone. Um, an NSX ETM, Electronic Troubleshooting Manual for a 94 NSX Acura. This sold for, I don't know, I forgot, 40 shipped, I think. Whatever you see on the screen, that's what it sold for, so I don't remember. But yeah, this is from the big manual buy, and so is this, a 1996 B Platform Caprice Impala and Roadmaster Manual. This is only book two. Took a best offer of 20 shipped. This one actually had some damage to it. You can kind of see... The pages kind of got crinkly. They probably got a little wet. It's in the listing. That's why I took a lower offer on it, but 20 shipped. Happy to get rid of it. Retail arbitrage buy. This Energizer Charger. Energizer Charger. Recharger, actually. was 35. Target had it at 1050 plus tax. I sold mine for 31 shipped. It'll go padded flat rate. I'll probably make about 10 bucks when this is all said and done. I bought three of them. 
I'm not going to make a ton, but on RA, you got to kind of pick the ones that are worth it. This was an easy listing, multi-quantity, and I knew it would probably sell eventually. I've sold two of the three that I bought so far. This is a Cobra 75 WXST CB system. It's all in here, you can see. I sold it as is because I didn't have the right thing to hook it up. It sold for 55 or 60 shipped for this whole unit um, as is. If it works, you could have got like 100 Maybe 90 for it if you could prove that it works. I paid 10 for it. I just wanted to get it out of here uh, and move it along. So happy with that. And lastly, this is a, oh, what is it called? Um, it looks like a Polly Pocket kind of. Um, this is like a Godzilla one. You can kind of see little Godzilla figures in there. Um, this was 50 cents at a garage sale. It's missing some pieces. Um, let's see if it's the name of it. Toho, I think. Yeah, Toho and Trendmaster. Um, that ended up selling for 45 shipped off of 50 cents buy. So a pretty good deal there. I'll show you guys what else. Hey everyone, final two sale, three sales, sorry, from um, Thursday. We have this little Sony um, PlayStation controller. This one sold for like 17 shipped by itself. It will go first class. Here's a little Samsung, what's it called? The Exclaim. I forgot what the model is. You should see on the screen. Um, this is a Sprint phone with the charger. Uh, that was in a big box of electronics I got. That sold for 17 shipped, I think, as well, and a best offer. And lastly, one of the cassettes from the cassette slot, tribe call, a tribe called Quest. Um, this sold for 20 shipped, full price sale. Going to go medium mail in a small box.